This morning we primed a well for the first time in over a year while the house has been under construction. And I'll go over the procedure real quickly with you. Here we have the time clock. I've got some time set even though I don't have the valves hooked up yet. All I have is the pump that's plumbed underground to the well, which is over here. It's a T on there that connects up to the pump. On top you see a, a uh, cap that unscrews a plug so we can put water in there if we need to uh, prime it or if we need to put acid down there later to treat it. So we put some time on the clock just to turn it on. Pump's running. I've got a pipe sticking out temporarily just to channel the water off to the side. And this is the water we're getting now out of the well. An old aero motor. Still going strong. We're going to put this cover on it. Keep the rain off of it. So now we're ready to install the irrigation system. And turn that off. How we got to this point is when you plumb these pumps up, what you're supposed to do is put a T at the very top right here and then a plug up on top that can be unscrewed. Okay, and this is your output line right here. This is gonna go to your sprinkler system. This is the input again that comes from the, the well. Right about here, we have a check valve whose purpose is to hold the water from the well all the way up to this point without letting it run back down every time the pump turns off. So that each time you turn the pump on, the distance it has to pull the water is only from here to here, which is, results in the water coming on right away. But when we initially primed the, uh, the pump and got the well and pump system going this morning, what we did was we unscrewed this cap. I have this little device I put on the end of my hose it allows me to turn the water on and off. It's got a little piece that fits down into the top of this T like this. So all we do is unscrew this part, screw this in, turn this on, turn the pump on up here, let it run out through here. And in the meantime, what's happening is this pump is sucking the water the whole time. It's created a suction, which is pulling the water from the well in this direction. And then after a period of time, you keep water in here. After a period of time, you screw this back on top. And then uh, shortly afterwards, the water does finally start to come out. So that's what we did this morning. And now we're ready to go ahead with the irrigation system because we know we have uh, a water source that's working and adequate.